Hi, welcome to today's edition of Beach and Beyond. I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director, and we're up here at the Higgins Crab House on the Crab Deck, and we're going to be talking to Sandy Gillis about the Ocean City Foodie Tour. We're also heading up to talk to our good friend Rena Thaler at the Ocean City Center for the Arts to find out what they've got going on, and heading down to the Secrets Distillery, talking to Jackie Miller, and finally at Fishtails to talk to Sean Harmon about what is going on down there. And I don't want to forget my good buddies in the Ocean City Tourism Department talking about what kinds of great events there are in store for us. So please don't go anywhere. New name, new games. So many new ways to win now at Ocean Downs Casino. Play live table games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. Hit on 100 additional slots, plus thrill to the excitement of lots more new theme slot games. The new Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Please play responsibly. For help, visit mdgamblinghelp.org or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hi, welcome to today's edition of Beach and Beyond. And today I'm here with Sandy Gillis the creator of the Ocean City Foodie Tour, and we're here on the Blue Crab deck, I guess, at Higgins Crab House. Mm -hmm. So Sandy, first of all, thank you so much for being on the show. And we just thought this was such a great new business idea. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the OC Foodie Tour? Okay, great, well thanks for having me. Um, the OC Foodie Tour is a walking tour that we hit about five different restaurants. We do little tasting courses at each restaurant. We get to meet the owners and the chefs and creators behind the dishes. And as we're walking, we're learning histories and things about Ocean City, fun, fascinating facts, how it became the white Marlin capital of the world. We learn about the fishing industry and all sorts of fun, exciting little yeah. things. Now, where we are is on the, you have a couple tours, and this yes. is the Midtown yes. Foodie Tour? Yes. And, uh, and picking crabs is apparently on all of your tours. Yes, absolutely. The Maryland Blue Crab is a must. It's the Ocean City Delicacy. So both tours have the Maryland Blue Crab. We forget living here that some people have never picked a blue crab. That's right. And you get a crab cracking lesson with each crab. And Stop. I thought I knew everything, but <laughs> I learned some cool stuff yeah. about the anatomy of a crab. Yes. So it's really more than just eating the crab. And um, so you've got all kinds of different food mm -hmm. items. Yes. Seafood, there's uh, oysters, a, a bunch of different ways. There's soft shell crabs, of course the hard shell crab. There's um, just each little place has their special delicacy that they do something that makes them famous. And this is a walking tour, yes. so people do not get in their car and drive from no. place to place. No. The Midtown Dining District Tour is um, nine blocks. Uh -huh. So it's basically from 28th Street to 37th Street. And there are actually 24 privately owned restaurants in that small nine block area, not counting national chains. It's amazing to think that there are that many yeah. restaurants, but there really are. Yeah, and we all go to the same places over and over again. So this kind of gets us out of our box to try different places. Right. Even my locals come and they go to places that they've never been. So there is a lot of history on this tour. For instance, the Angler. Yes. Tell us a little bit about why that was chosen as a spot for the downtown tour. Yes, so the Angler is one of our meeting spots for the downtown tour because it is the oldest restaurant in Ocean City. They're celebrating 80 years this year. I didn't know that. And basically the fishing started with the Bunting family. So there's a lot of history about fishing and how it became the white Marlin capital of the world and um, significant stuff and I've there. Done I've done your tours, and mm -hmm. I think it's always interesting to watch people mm -hmm. and, and look at their uh, reactions to mm -hmm. some of the history. And I know the Assateague wild horse story and the yeah. whole inlet story is really fascinating. So the downtown tour, again, is a walking tour, mm -hmm. and you do the crab picking on that tour as yes, well. Yes, that's our last stop. We, we start at Talbot Street Pier, we go down around the inlet, up the boardwalk, and we end at Mug and Mallet, and we do another crab picking there. And this is something that goes on beyond Labor Day, so yes. it's not just a summer event. We're going to keep on doing them until the weather holds out. Gets as long cold. as people want to do it, I'm here, I'm happy to do it. And I just have to say, we did even try some dried worms on one oh, of the did. tours from Ripley's, <laughs> yeah. Ripley's believe it or not. Ripley's has some surprises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I have to say, everyone on the tour actually tried them. Yeah. So that is so cool. So tell us where, what the website is for people to get more information if they want to book a foodie tour. 
You just go to ocfoodietour.com and you can book right online. And we do them every day, Monday through Friday, starting at noon. And you can have your choice between the Midtown Tour yes. and the Downtown Tour. Yes. Okay, Sandy, thank you. This is such a great idea and something Ocean City didn't have before. So make sure you go to the website and try out these foodie tours because I think you're really going to not only try some new food, but you're going to learn a lot of history about Ocean City. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for having me. Yep, thanks for being on Beach and Beyond. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and we are in Snow Hill today with no stranger to anybody, I'm sure, Michael Day. Uh, Michael's the Economic Development Coordinator for the town of Snow Hill, and we thought we'd come down to Snow Hill because we all know he's done such great things in Berlin, and now he's taking that same great formula into Snow Hill. And if you haven't made a trip recently to Snow Hill, you're really going to want to do this after watching this segment. Michael, thank you well, for joining thank you. us. Who were you just talking about? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So yeah. we're going to start right here on the beautiful Pocomoke River, and we're standing right next to the Pocomoke River Canoe Company. And uh, canoes, kayaks, outboard motors, bicycles for rent, stand up uh, paddle boards. Stand up paddle boards, the whole nine yards. Beautiful river out here. Uh, no mosquitoes on the uh, Pocomoke River, so it's it's great for all your water activities. And he's not just saying that, there really aren't mosquitoes there on really the Pocomoke River. Yeah. It, is a it is just an absolutely beautiful river and you can't believe how much of a wilderness experience it is when you come down here on the river. So we're going to also take a little tour of the town here in a minute and you've got some great new businesses we that sure do. have uh -huh. uh, opened up that folks may not know about. Well what we just those? left the candy store, the old town candy shop. Uh, Paul Voker's uh, the Green Pearl, Green, Green Pearl, the Green Pearl Art Green Gallery, Pearl, the Bishop, Stock. Bishop Stock Art Gallery, uh, the Harvest Moon for a dinner and lunch, Blue Dog Cafe is yep. there Friday and Saturday nights. So do. there's another new store, Retag Upscale Resale. Okay, upscale that resale. works. Yep, the Sassy Girl, which is a staple here in yeah, town. Yeah, it's been which here for a while. Great, great we store. went into the corner shop, which is a great another herbs. It's the uh, only place I buy oil and vinegar. Oil Just vinegar. Barbecue rubs, um, all kinds of great things. So recently, the Daily Brew Coffee Shop so, opened, yeah. and they have uh, breakfast and lunch. Breakfast, great lunch, coffee, coffee yeah, shop. Great. Mm -hmm. And you. And there's also a brand new uh, rental room upstairs that you can rent for meetings or functions. And is there free Wi-Fi downtown? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can yeah, hang just, out in the coffee shop, and you don't and have to have a password. Just, just plug into Snow Hill Public. So we're in Toy Town, which is just an amazing store. Amazing store. You had said that there, this is probably the only store of its kind on the whole East Coast. P could be. I believe could it. Be. Yeah, could I be. absolutely believe and it. The selection and the quantity of things he has in here. You know, we're standing under a real airplane. Airplane. They could fly. How many stores have that? Have that airplane in there, yeah. Across, yeah, tell us about the shops the street, on Washington. There's a few shops on Washington Street. The quilt shop, quilt shop has um, Serenity, lessons, lessons quilt, yeah. quilting machine, fabrics, mirror, and mirror salon, a brand new salon which is really doing well over there. So there's shops across the street um, and there's plenty to do here. Yeah, when plenty you come, to do. Plenty to Absolutely. do. You could spend a couple hours in this store alone. Yeah. So. I should say in addition to the museums and the historic self-guided walking tour, uh, there's there's plenty to do. Plenty to do. Yep. Give us a website so people that want to know more information might be able to go to the to find. The best one would be snowhillmd.com. Okay. That would be the easiest one. It's got all the events all on the there. Events. And well, this has been a real treat, and, and this store in particular is just so fascinating. Uh, Michael Day, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's been fun. Yeah, it has been fun. Oh my gosh, it's always so much fun to be with Sandy and she's always got such energy and enthusiasm for this latest business of hers. Next, we're heading up to the Ocean City Center for the Arts and we're going to find out what is happening up there this week. Hello, I'm Sandy Gillis, creator of the OC Foodie Tour. I'm here today at the Ocean City Center for the Arts with Executive Director Rena Thaler and we're getting ready to learn about all the new things that are going on here at the Arts Center. This portion of Art Matters is brought to you by the OC Foodie Tour, where we invite you on a taste of Ocean City on an informative culinary journey that leisurely walks you through Ocean City's impressive local restaurant and bar scene. 
It's combined with history, local lore, and fun, fascinating facts about this coastal gem of a town and the families who started businesses here. So, Rena, what's going on new in the, in the um, art galleries today? So, this month we're featuring the works of renowned artist Kevin Fitzgerald. And um, for those of you who don't know who Kevin Fitzgerald is, he is a local artist who has gotten international acclaim. Kevin's work is a moment in time. It looks like you can step into one of his paintings. Um, just really beautiful and ethereal, and it just the galleries look awesome this month. I just hope everybody comes down to visit. So. It does, really beautiful, a lot of color. Um, his work is really alive. It does feel like you can just walk inside of it. Beautiful. And very encompassing, so large scale works. Um, Kevin's work, for those, as I said, who don't know him, has been included in places like the Obama's house in Washington. That's uh, um, where you can find it. But you could also find it here at the Ocean City Center mm -hmm. for the Arts. So. Mm -hmm. Um, we yeah. hope everybody will come down and, and see the show this month. And we do have a companion catalog of his pieces um, that's available. So. so, Rena, tell us about these pieces. Well, Cindy, these are by artist David Simpson. We're in his studio right now. And these works were produced during our Artist Paint OC event last year. This summer, we have 50 artists coming to Ocean City from all over the country. We have six different states they're coming from. And they'll be painting here for five days. Um, throughout, the month, throughout the month of August. So, Rena, is there anything else coming up this month at the Arts Center? Well, um, everyone should be sure to stop by Art X at Northside Park, August 25th and 26th. It's going to be a new art and music festival that the Art League and the Town of Ocean City are collaborating on, and there'll be lots of all mediums of art, interactive art experiences. There'll be film, um, food, beer, craft beer, It'll be a lot of fun and music. So we're full schedule of live music, including a free concert by the original Whalers on that Saturday oh, nice. night on um, August 25th. So nice. Art X Northside Park, be sure to see us. All right. So there's always something fun going on here at the Art Center. Thanks for watching. Bye. Join us on the OC Foodie Tour, where we invite you on a taste of Ocean City, an informative culinary journey that leisurely walks you through Ocean City's impressive local restaurant and bar scene, combined with history, local lore, and fascinating facts about this coastal gem of a town and the families who started businesses here. Tickle your taste buds with flavors of some of the finest and most unique food this fun city has to offer. Get ready to sip, sample, and savor the flavors of the shore by booking online for the next OC Foodie Tour. Wow, thanks, Rena. And if you've never been to the Ocean City Center for the Arts, you've really got to check it out. Now we're heading down to Secrets and the distillery, talking to Jackie and uh, finding out what's going on in there. Hey guys, welcome to Secrets, Jamaica, USA. We are located in Ocean City on 49th Street, Bayside. So let's take a look at what you can do during your next visit. We have lots of free parking or come by boat and tie up to one of our mooring balls and we'll come pick you up. First stop today is going to be our newest attraction at Secrets, Secrets Distilling Company. Let's go see what's inside. We have tours offered every day from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tours last approximately one hour and include three samples of the award-winning Secrets Spirits. You can make a reservation online at secretsdistilling.com or walk-ups are always welcome when space is allowed. check out the restaurant. Here we're serving up Caribbean inspired dishes including steaks, seafood, sandwiches, pizza and more. We have inside and outside dining sections where you can dine under the palms with a view of the bay. Now it's time to chill. Relax on our rafts or at a table in the bay with cocktail service. On to the evening, we've got live entertainment for you to enjoy. Sunday through 
Friday, entertainment starts at 5 p.m. and on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Check out our calendar of events at speakers.com. All right, well, there you have it. So make your plans now to come visit us at Secrets, Jamaica, USA. See you soon. Secrets Distilling Company, Ocean City's first distillery since Prohibition. We invite you to travel back in time to Prohibition era for a behind-the-barrels view of Secrets Distilling Company. Learn the process by which we make our spirits, from grain to bottle. Tours offered daily from noon till 6 on the hour, every hour. So don't delay. Call 410-524-BOOZ. That's 410-524-BOOZ. Secrets Distilling Company, the taste worth fighting for. Hey guys, it's Dorian and Wes and also Reed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to ride awesome rides. They're going to be super fun. Okay, we're going inside. It's going to be such a fun time. What I want is Splash Mountain. Yep, Splash the Pirate. We're at the Pirate Bucket. We're going to um, go under and the place and it's going to be super fun. Jackie, now we're heading down to talk to Sean Harmon at Fishtails, where there's always fun stuff going on, and he's going to be talking about the Poor Girls Open. Hey guys, okay. what? what? You welcome what? or me? Welcome. I welcome you. And you go ahead. It's your show. Well, welcome to Telling Tales. <laughs> I, I have a stand in here for my friend BK. It's another friend of mine, Scott Lennox, from Hooked on OC. Uh huh. And, uh -huh. and he worked here. I worked here for 27 almost years ago yeah, or something. It's funny. Thanks for having me in for the Poor Girls Open segment because, as you know, um, I helped Captain Steve put this tournament together. That's true. 20 whatever years when ago. When it started with nine I boats. I wore pink in honor of it. That's right. Nine boats. Yeah, crazy. Nine boats first year. Crazy. Last year we had 155. Crazy. We are $71,000 away from donating a million dollars since Steve passed away in 2004. Damn, son. So That's crazy. This is our March to a Million. We're going to crush it. Uh, save the Tatas, I think, is the theme. Second of base. The, se get to second base. Save the Tatas. All those things. And what's the uh, what's the official um, charity of the 2018 it goes, Poor it Girls? It goes to the American Cancer Society. Okay. All right. Um, it says that it all goes to breast cancer research. A lot of it stays on the shore here, which is something that that Steve wanted to have yeah. done and everybody um, to offset the expenses of having to go to the other side of the bridge to get treatment. So they pay for drivers and, yeah. and but you know, it, it kind of all goes in the same pot and comes out, but we try to, we try to say to keep it on the shore. Yeah, smart. You fish one of three days, right. scales are, are uh, four to 7.30, uh, 
Uh, we have a banquet on Sunday down at Harrison's Harbor Watch, who does an incredible job for us. It's an awesome view. Yeah, you can't Mark Mayer's doing a, a big ice sculpture for us. And you will see girls having a good time here at the from, scales. From this big. You never know big. what's going to be flying off the riggers when they pull in here to be here Marina, boy. That's for sure. That's right. So we'll see you on uh, Wednesday sign up. We'll see you this week. Come on by. If you want Thanks more for, information, BahiaMarina.com. Thanks for, Thanks for having by, me, buddy. brother. See you this weekend. Right. Welcome to the Dough Roller, Ocean City's favorite family restaurant. A full breakfast menu is served daily featuring delicious buttermilk pancakes and omelets. We have something for everyone. Award-winning fresh dough pizza, sandwiches, subs and salads, Italian and seafood dinners, plus a great kids menu. 41st Street has several TVs to watch your favorite sporting events or host a meeting. All of our locations can accommodate large families and groups. Four Ocean City locations to serve you. Open seven days a week. The Dough Roller. Good things are rolling your way. Okay, now we are going to be talking to Donna, Susan, and Melanie, my great tourism pals in Ocean City, and they are going to be talking about all the cool stuff going on for the remainder of the summer. Hello and welcome to the beach and beyond. My name is Melanie Purcell. I'm executive director with the Greater Ocean City Chamber of Commerce. I have with me today Susan Jones, director of the Hotel Motel Restaurant hey, Association. Melanie. And Ms. Donna Abbott, who's the director of tourism and marketing for the town of Ocean City. We are on the boardwalk down here at 27th Street. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning day. And we're looking forward to an extremely busy and exciting summer of 2018. So, Donna, why don't you talk a little bit about some of the fun, free family events that are going on this whole summer? Yeah, we've got some great events lined up as usual. Um, we have our uh, fireworks on the beach at North Division Street every Monday and Tuesday evening. We have uh, beach dance party nights on Tuesday nights. We have Sunset Park party nights on Thursday night. And we have the Sundays in the Park, of course, on Sunday nights up at Northside Park, plus the beach lights that will be going on nightly throughout the summer. You know, I love Sunset Park. It's so beautiful to go back there and just check all the boats coming in. It's a great spot. And great movies venue. on the beach are always so much fun. That's right. The yeah. movies on the beach. I forgot to mention those. Those are three nights a week here, right on the beach at 27th Street on uh, Mondays and Friday nights and up at the Carousel on the beach, the Carousel Hotel on 118th Street on Wednesday nights. So a full lineup, really something mm -hmm. for everyone. And it's all throughout town. That's what's so exciting. You can um, you know, be up north or come downtown, come on the boardwalk and then all throughout. And um, as you're riding up Coastal High, Highway, something that will be different this year is the number of new businesses as well. So while you're here really? enjoying Ocean City and all the free events, um, please you know check out some of the new restaurants, um, new locations, a lot of major improvements that some of our businesses have made. Um, I think this is probably one of the uh, most exciting summers for, for new business in Ocean City. So Absolutely. lots of new stuff to Good try. Good food to try. Great new food, <laughs> lots of great seafood, farm to table, dock to plate. Um, it's beer. really craft beer. And you know, you talk about the hotels and there are new hotels in town. And yes. something that I wanted to point out to everyone is really when you are booking hotels, make a good choice. Look at that address line in the website. Make sure you are booking direct with the hotel because a lot of times you are not hitting the direct hotel and you'll pay higher fees for those or you might have a problem with your reservation. Mm -hmm. So booking direct and making sure the right address is in the website that is the hotel is so important. Mm -hmm. And the best way to get great rates in Ocean City is to travel during the week. So mm -hmm. Sunday through Thursday, we have really great rates. So make your trip during a weekday and you'll save money. Sure, that's some great advice, yeah. Susan. And I think, um, you know, also when you're planning your stay to Ocean City or you have any questions, you can certainly contact the Convention and Visitors Bureau, the Chamber, or the Hotel Association. We have yeah. wonderful staff on hand to really help you plan your, um, your weekend or your weekday getaway in Ocean City. So. Lots of great resources in Ocean yes. City. Yes, come it on is. down. Come on down. It's Ocean City and it's summertime. Yeah, so for more information um, for all the events going on all summer long, you can visit ococean.com um, or ocvisitor.com or oceancity.org. Lots so, of choices. Lots of choices. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and we are in Berlin, Maryland today, and I'm with Ivy Wells, who's the Economic Development Director for the Town of Berlin, and we're going to be talking about all the things that are made, made right in here in Berlin. We're here at Bleach Butterfly, but you have so much made in Berlin, you actually have a list. I have such a long list, and I keep adding to it because sometimes I forget that there's so many shops that have things that are made right here in Berlin, and if it's okay with you, I would like yeah. to... I think you're going to be surprised. Can, can I read the just list? Just how much. I can yeah. read the list. Yes. All right, starting with Island Creamery, homemade ice cream on what grounds has house-made chocolates. Uncle John makes his own soap and laundry detergent. Jeffrey Oxer, hand-blown glass. 
Nest, she makes her own quilts and baby clothes. Burley Oak, of course, craft beer and root beer. Heart of Gold Kids, little baby clothes, very cute. Uh, Baked Dessert Cafe makes uh, all of their desserts and everything fresh each day. Tada! Uh, Patty hand paints her own wine glasses there. And I'm gonna keep going. Bees Knees, she makes bath products, lotions, and candles. Yep. Atlantic Retreat, chemical free spritzers and lotions and oils. Urban Nectar, so many artists, jewelry, local food. Uh, Bungalow Love, there's note cards and Patrick Henry prints and dream catchers and jewelry. Gilbert's Provisions, he is probably fermenting something right now in his shop. We're gonna go check uh, out. Yes, we're definitely gonna go check out uh, Gilbert's Provisions. Berlin Farm Supply, local meat from uh, beer to beef. You have to check that out and see what that means. Painted Gourds by Joanne. CFD Fine Jewelry. And last but definitely not least, uh, the Berlin Printery. That is an amazing list. And I'm happy to say, I think I've been to every one of these I places so. on your list. I hope so. So we're gonna go and explore and, and go see some of these things firsthand. Let's do it. Let's join us. Thanks. So as you can see, there is so much to do and fun things to do and see, and it truly is America's coolest small town. In fact, there's so much to do that we have a few additions. A, a few additions, Wooden Octopus, Steel and Glory, and House by Salvage. Please don't forget to visit these wonderful shops here and, in America's coolest small town. And don't forget to stop by the nest and visit Berlin's unofficial mascot. This is Petey. Petey. And Petey is very, very customer friendly. <laughs> Berlin, we are so pet friendly. pet friendly. Bring your dogs, your cats. Say your... bye, Petey. <laughs> bye. <laughs> much for joining us today on another edition of Beach and Beyond. We hope you got some really good ideas of some fun places to visit and fun things to do.